one last time. Probably. Yeah, there's nothing they can do to stop it. Hello there everybody, it's me, the Canadian Rebuff, with a review of Rambo Last Blood. Last Blood finds John Rambo having returned home after spending many years abroad, having finally found peace with himself. Unfortunately, war stops for no man, and when a Mexican cartel crosses his path, he must gear up for one final battle. There's a bittersweet notion that comes when a fading action star decides to end a franchise. You don't want to see it go, but at the same time, you know they're not getting any younger and it must eventually come to an end. With Creed 2 finishing the story of Rocky Balboa, it seemed fitting that Sylvester Stallone would give another one of his characters one final outing. But for a franchise that was built off of blood, guns, and explosions, this fifth entry seems very lacking. I have to give credit to the people behind the camera, more specifically the people controlling it. They could have easily made this another shaky cam face with quick crediting and just caught it a day. But the shots were competent enough where you could actually see the action and it was given plenty of room to occur. It wasn't like Taken 3 where every time he brings out a knife or a gun there's like 5,000 different shots at it in different angles just to get for one quick motion. It's refreshing to see a movie that could have been lazily made actually have some effort put into it. They also could have tried harder but the attempt was made. And like the Rambo movies themselves, the action is fairly spectacularly gory. I think it is a step down in terms of gore when compared to Rambo 4, but it does not shy away from violence, which is exactly what a Rambo movie should be doing. Aside from First Blood, the Rambo movies have never been these like groundbreaking, deep diving stories that have amazing scripts. They're mostly just Rambo has to save people, and involves a lot of shooting and blowing up, and of course, some blood here and there. Again, to bring up Rambo 4, it's not exactly a contriving story or setup, but at least it's consistently there throughout the movie. It did feel like John Rambo's quest was a central part of the story. It's the same thing here again, but it doesn't happen until a good halfway through the movie. And if you've seen all the other Rambo movies, you could most likely guess the story beat by beat. And as much as I dislike the jittery camera work and quick cut editing of Rambo 4, at least it had consistent action throughout. That entire sequence doesn't happen until the very end of the movie. Not even joking, it's barely, not, it's barely an, over an hour and a half long and we don't get any action like any good Rambo going guns blazing on all the bad guys until the very last 20 minutes. And even that last battle sequence doesn't rank among Rambo's greatest carnage moments. I can give the movie credit for not making the movie drag, it also goes the other way and has the movie coming at you at a rapid pace and it's over before you even know it. By the time it actually feels like you're really getting into this movie, it's over. When looking at 2019 action movies, Rambo 5 Last Blood has one of the better third acts, but it has a generic kidnap and rescue story slapped on the front, and even before that, a lame attempt at trying to cash in on the nostalgia of the first four movies. I can give credit for the technical aspects. They clearly wanted to show that they had some sort of care for this movie in terms of the cinematography and the editing, but if only that went into the action and the script and the story, we could have had a much better final outing for Rambo. Heck, even looking at the credits, it, it may not even be the end. We may get a Rambo 6 if Stallone manages to pull enough money together for it. But in the end, those technical aspects, as well as the guilty pleasure action, aren't enough to balance out everything else that is bad about Last Blood. I was actually looking forward to this because it has been a while since we've had a guilty pleasure, gory, action-packed movie that just doesn't care about anything and just wants to say, Here's an old guy shooting a bunch of bad guys with blood and guts flying everywhere. That entire action sequence is a fun watch, but at this point you could probably find the full sequence on YouTube, so just go do that instead. Let the Rambo series end as it is, and skip it. <laughs> Alright, that's my review of Rambo Last Blood. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and answers in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're new here. And as always, this is the Canadian Rebuff saying I hope you had a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya!